Hi Beasties! Melissa from Metals and Pieces here with a quick video on something that you definitely need to know. It's summer! Woo! Well, it's coming up. It'll officially be summer. But it's close enough. It's like between 80 and 90 degrees. The pool is open. The flowers are bloomed. It's officially summer. It's hot out. So that means shorts and flip-flops and even better yet, Clips. Metals and Pieces is super proud to present this summer a whole line of anklets. Hell yeah. But I don't know about you. I am not a skinny leg girl here. <laughs> and I have issues with anklets. Like going to the store or hitting up the beach shops. I never was able to really get anklets that I felt comfortable wearing. Either they were too small and I felt like they were strangling my foot and cutting off circulation to my toes. And come on, I did point dancing for a while. I need circulation in those toes. <laughs> or they were so kind of dainty that I was afraid that, you know, I would trip like I do 10 times a day and it would break and fall off and I would never notice. So that said, between those two things, I never really liked anklets, but it has been a beastie request that we do anklets. And so we dove headfirst into anklet world and came up with several stunning designs that are adorable, sturdy, and size adjustable. Cause come on beasties, I can't be the only one who's got dancer legs dancer legs, right? <laughs> okay, so Metals and Pieces anklets come in two sizes right now. Our standard size is 8 to 10 inches, and then we have a large in 10 to 12 inches, okay? And you might be wondering, well, how in the world do I figure out what size anklet I need? Come on, valid question, right? Never fear, I have two methods for you to find out. We're all about the twos today, aren't we? Okay, so First option, of course, is if you have a handy dandy tape measure. Handy dandy tape measure, right? If you have one of these, easy peasy, you're gonna wrap it around your ankle. I'm gonna use my wrist right here because it's on camera. But you would wrap it around your ankle just like you would your wrist. You're gonna cross over and see. So my wrist measures at a seven. <laughs> but remember, they have that uh, variation in it. And that variation comes from an extender chain. Here's a sample one right here. So we have our stainless, first off, stainless steel chain, stainless steel lobster claw, and then our aluminum extender chain. So this is where you get that two inch variation, size variation, okay? This one right here is our geometric Celtic. Geometric Celtic knot. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'll get to all of them later. But so that's first option is if you have a measuring tape. But not everyone has measuring tapes. I mean, I'm a crazy jeweler and former seamstress, so I have tons of measuring tapes. But you might not. You might have a traditional ruler. How are you gonna do a ruler around your ankle? It doesn't work that way, right? It just does not work. What you can do in combo with your ruler is grab a piece of string or like I have yarn here or twine or anything you have, even another necklace. You can grab anything that is long, skinny and pliable, it moves. <laughs> and then you're just gonna take that you're gonna, I'm gonna use my wrist again here, but you would be doing this obviously on your ankle. And you can either do it yourself or you can have someone else help you. And you're just gonna figure out what that point is. So I'm gonna do like a crossover point here. Then you know how much on here. So you're gonna put that up on your handy dandy ruler and let's see if it comes out the same. Let's see, let's see. Boom, seven. Well, seven and a quarter, but still. <laughs> EMS council ruler, woo! <laughs> but it comes out to seven inches. That that would be, like that, that's my wrist. My ankle is like an eight and a half, nine. <laughs> but there you go, that's the two methods. Either take a regular measuring tape and do it, or take a piece of string and measure. Now, all of my anklets are very dainty and they're all what I call low profile. So if you've been with me for a while, if you come to any of my trunk shows, you know that I talk about high and low, or sculptural versus low profile pieces. So I'm gonna hold up two anklets right here. 
for you to see I have a variation. So my first one I'm going to hold up, this is our angel wings anklet. Isn't that cute? Look at that, look at that, look at that. And you can see, I'm just going to put it over my fingers here, or I'm going to put it on my wrist. So you can see it's, when I say low profile, I mean that it is flat along my wrist. It's not taking up any kind of sculptural three-dimensional shape. When designs take up space like that, they're very 3D, you're going to need a larger size. But that's doesn't have anything to do with today because all of our anklets here are low profile. And that's exactly what I mean by low profile. It sits near flush to the skin. The only one that's different would be our rainbow barrel one. And this is a bit more sculptural. You can see it's raised up a little bit off of my wrist right here. But still not enough to make it um, require different sizing. Okay, I'm going to be going through on all of my different kinds of pieces and showing you guys how to properly size for them. But this is still a very low profile piece here. Okay, there we go. Now let's get to, I'm going to give you guys a quick preview of all of our anklets. And you can see the shopping link for our all new anklet sections right in the menu, right below. Until next time, I will be seeing you. Signing out, Melissa. Bye. Thank you.